I want to start this video off by saying I'm okay. In case you guys don't know, I've had trouble with concussions for 30 years. Uh, in this video, I take a pretty good bump just driving, but it jostles me pretty good. And I don't remember anything that's in this video after that. I think I was already a little uh, messed up from the bumpy ride going in because a lot of what I'm talking about doesn't make any sense. But here's what I shot and here's what happened. Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Well, I'm still at Fish Pass, guys. It goes all the way back here to Corpus Christi Bay. And there are several different groups of people here fishing and just out having a good time this is an awesome spot you can even see where uh kiwit is over there in ingleside from here that is really cool and i would imagine see there's the uh you can see the oil tankers in ingleside and that's right where the big ships would go by that's pretty cool you could see the big ships all the way from out here really really pretty out here wow these people got all their toys set up kind of stick it out this side for you they got floats they got kayaks they got shade food people fishing Great big floppy hat. They got everything. Uh, this is uh, this is really nice back here. It's worth the bumpy ride. I mean, you can see the highway right there. Uh, just the conditions of the driving here. It's uh, I like it. it. Scares some people away. Give you a little privacy. Except if one of those morons with a YouTube channel shows up, then they wreck it for everybody. <laughs> yeah, so don't come out here, guys. It's horrible. I, I can't recommend it. You can come out here and spend a day and hopefully not even see that many people. You can see some of the developments as you head into Port Aransas over there in the distance. And forgive my air conditioning sound, but I'm trying to keep my phone from overheating. And it's nice to see that people have come out here and left their mark on uh, God's creation. They're very important. They only had time to bring the trash here. They did not have time to, to bring it out. I've seen a lot of skittish birds out here, too. There goes one right there. That had to be a blue heron. I recognize the uh, the pissed-off sound whenever it has to move. There you go. And guys, don't, don't worry about it. Just leave your mess wherever you go. Someone will come along. Someone will come along and pick that up. I really like the... Uh, so, hey, Kevin, very drivable. Not a, not a big deal at all. And it's funny, when I was about to give up, going back to check on, you know, see what those people had going on, that's when the road kind of got smooth. So I think a lot of people don't go back that far. But, uh, really really gorgeous they look like a kind of a IBIS is that Ibis Ibis but like a different kind but they have kind of the same characteristics I don't know but I'm digging all the colors I'm digging the greens I love our blue skies we're getting our skies aren't uh 
Saharan dust yellow anymore, which is gorgeous. We got some butterflies happening out here. Where'd they go? They decide to hide. Even butterflies don't want to be on my YouTube channel. They're like, we're, we're holding out for a better, ch better channel, buddy. We're, uh, we're holding out to, for, for that girl travels. That's my friend, uh, Alexis's channel. And there's a link in the description of this video. Matter of fact, there's a link to about 20, 25 channels that I watch. And, uh, you wouldn't like Alexis's channel. Beautiful young lady running around in uh, shorts and bathing suits. So no one, no one wants to see that mess. <laughs> I love it out here. Wonder, I wonder how many coyotes are within 100 yards of me right now. You rarely see them. At night, if, if you're on the beach in like Port Aransas and you want to you want to see coyotes cook some bacon cook some bacon on the beach they will be up at the edge of the dunes wondering what is going on I think this is the little side road I came in right yeah okay one video getting us here the other video getting us out We haven't so there's only two groups of people back in there it's a little bit more of a drive than packery channel but of course i mean i don't, I don't know it is called fish pass but I, I imagine there's fish here that's how it got its name right i'm having a very good time finding these new places that I've never been to before. I've been going to Fish Pass since 1928, and it was much better back then. Yep, I know. I'm sure somewhere there's some Karankawa Indians going, well, we've been coming here since the beginning of time, and we thought that was much better then. <laughs> well, yeah, I see your point. I don't know, was my life better with a cell phone or without a cell phone? My life became better with a cell phone when I shut the phone portion off and stopped answering messages and uh, phone calls. I do not take phone calls. I can tell you who the last pleasant person I talked to on the phone was, and uh, that was my friend Marilyn. <laughs> And we've talked on the phone once. So Marilyn, thank you, friend. I'm just not a phone person. I'm a bumpy back road bumpkin. And it's the three B's. Now how did we get, now does this road go to the left up here? Yep, okay. I'm just thinking, like, how did we get in and out of here? This looks okay right through here. This reminds me of a little bit of that road uh, in Lamar that my friend Mike told me about. If you're in Rockport, you go over the bridge like you're going into Lamar. As soon as you go over the causeway, you make a left. Go down that road, and on the right, there's a gravel road. And that'll take you back through an area like this. Except you get so far back there, it then tells you it's private property. This one basically leaves you alone, lets you get to the water. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy about that. Oh, man. I'm writing a stern letter to Texas State Parks and telling them I need that pothole fixed. 
You know that big hole everyone can see but me? <laughs> well, I hit it. It do any damage to your truck, sir? Mm, no. Okay, you have a good day. Thanks for shopping Texas State Parks. So I remember driving and talking up to just before that point. It took that big bump. And the next thing I knew, I was standing outside of the truck and I had sand on uh, my knees and legs. So I, I went down at some point and I was kind of, uh, excuse me, dry heaving. And I know from past experience that's happened whenever I've gotten a concussion. So you might have heard me say I, I'm not riding in a boat that I can't drive because just that bumping, bumping, bumping uh, kind of scrambles my brains worse than usual but um yeah i i didn't handle it right i hit a big bump and i uh i paid for it where i had oh a headache for about three days and uh some blurred vision spots but i shot this six seven days ago and I haven't had any bad issues in the last three or four days. So uh, no blurred vision, no headaches, and I'm good until uh, the next big bump. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.